using the mobile cable label tool with the PTE 550W. Simply open it up. Once you have it downloaded, of course, you can download it in iOS or Android. Uh, once you have that loaded up, make sure, of course, that your Wi-Fi is set up on your machine and it's sending out that Wi-Fi signal and your uh, phone or your mobile device is connected to it. Next, when you, if you're opening it for the first time, go into the settings button, make sure you select the printer that you want to use. You can see the PTE 550W here is selected. We'll go back and we'll select done. Now we know that the uh, that we're connected to the machine. So we can simply select any one of these. These are templates that are available in there. We've got our faceplate, cable wrap, cable flag, patch panel, punch down block, danger and caution signs. For this example, I'll go ahead and use um, just the standard um, danger and inspection labels. We can go ahead and select our inspection labels and just use any of these templates here. These are all editable. Once we open it up, we can do a couple different things here. I put a, I've changed that to a calibration label. We'll just go ahead and change it to an inspection label by selecting the talk to text feature. Inspected by colon. We'll go ahead and put a name in here by selecting that information, tapping that information, doing the talk to text feature again. John Doe. We can go ahead and change the date. Um, we'll change the date here. November 15th, 2017. And we can go ahead and hit done. Now we our labels created. We can go ahead and print that label um, directly from our, uh, our mobile device to our PTE 550W. Another thing that we can do is we can save that label. If you select the three dots down at the bottom here, you can hit save, and now it's saved to a saved label. There are a couple other different features that you can do with the machine. I can exit this. If you find a label design that has a symbol in it, such as this one, you can change this symbol by double tapping that symbol and you have your choice. Take photo with camera, select from album, or select from built-in symbols. The built-in symbols, there's only a few here to choose from, or we can go to take photo with camera. Take the camera, take a picture of it, select use photo. Now we can go ahead and crop this however we want to crop this, or we could leave it as is. Select done and we brought our picture in here. We can go ahead and edit this information all that we want to. Uh, we'll just go ahead and use the word caution, C-A-U-T-I-O-N, and we'll select done and our label's created. This is a label that we want to save later on down the road. We can go ahead and of course hit that save button as we did previously. Always hit refresh before printing. It's probably the best bet so that it senses what tape is in there and you know uh, exactly what it's going to look like. If you don't sense the right tape, it will go ahead and tell you that uh, you need to change out your tape cartridge and then just hit refresh and go ahead and hit print again. We we'll can go ahead and print this label directly from our mobile device using uh, the cable label tool directly to the PTE 550W.